Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping in. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. So today I have for you my empty bin for the month of March. As you guys already know, my totals will be at the end, but let's go ahead with the first item being a soap item. I use the Lever 2000 in this uh, charming sweet pea scent and um, this was okay it wasn't something that I entirely loved and want to like continue to use all the time but I did enjoy it while I was using it next up I have another soap but this one is a hand soap as opposed to that one that's a body this one is the safeguard hand soap and it's in the fresh clean scent I didn't absolutely love this scent but I did like the value of this like this was only a dollar eight at one point uh now it's a dollar 25 but I think this is like a really good size 22 fluid ounces for what you get I think that was perfect and it was a good soap that lathered really well so I didn't mind it on that end next up I have a hair product one of my good old favorites the Aussie Miracle Curl I love this stuff and I wish that they made it in a larger bottle that way I don't go through so many small bottles but I definitely do like this product a whole lot and I always bring it back it's like one of my holy grails another product that I really really like is the strictly curls by Mark Anthony and this one is you know the curl mv1 this one is with avocado oil and shea butter really love this stuff I like the way it feels in my hair and to be honest, I like most of the Mark Anthony products. Next up, I have something that I wasn't taking, but my husband was. This is the uh, Goli Ashwagandha. He loves this stuff, gets it all the time. So you're definitely going to see more of these bottles because it's like one of his staples. So what I will say about supplements is always check with your physician. I say that each and every time that I show a supplement. Next up, we have a toothpaste. If you don't already know, my favorite toothpaste is the Colgate Sparkling White, and that's what this is. It's one of my favorites. I kind of prefer this more than any of the other ones. I have tried some of the other flavors, but this one is like my favorite flavor. We have two men's deodorants. These are my husband's, obviously. They're the Dove Men Care Clean Comfort, and he seems to really like this and gets it often, so. You'll see that around. Use some tissues, the puffs. It doesn't matter which brand, I just like using tissues in my beauty room. Next up, I have some feminine products. And I think the last time I told you, I was gonna let you know what were my favorite pads of choice. And they are from Honey Pot. So these right here are the Organic Overnights and they have mint, lavender, and aloe on them. And they do have a tingly sensation. So if you've never used anything from this brand, uh, and it's your first time, you're going to feel like a very tingly sensation because it has those oils on the actual pad. And then, of course, I have the liners as well. And these are the just the daily ones. They have the same thing, mint, lavender, and aloe on them. But um, yeah, so I really like these. They're a little pricey, but at the same time, like they do the job. So yeah. Uh, I spare no expense on things that I really, really enjoy. Then next up, I have another body wash. This one is the Arm & Hammer Clear Water, which I talk about all the time, and I tell you that it's like one of my staples, so you'll definitely see this around again. We have a soap that was used. I believe my husband used this Irish Spring with aloe. I bought a pack of these a while ago, and I used them like during the you know, summer months when there were like flies around the outside of the house or anything like that. It just makes different bugs repel. So uh, after that season was done, my husband just started using them as actual soap. So you're going to see these because I did buy like a big pack of them. Then we have some wipes that we went through. These are the coconut facial wipes. Uh, they also have eucalyptus. So coconut and eucalyptus. I don't think this particular one is found at the dollar store. I think they rebrand them every so often and it'll have a different print, similar ingredients. I don't know. I just see them all the time. And I like these because they have a 32 count and they're like a bigger wipe. We have a little perfume sample that I ended up using. This is the Michael Kors Super Gorgeous. Used 
that up of course the little bottle fell out of it so um use this up i liked it i thought it was like a nice scent will i get it for my collection back there um, i don't know i don't remember if i loved it enough to want to add it in a full size but i definitely enjoyed using it as a small sample we have a toothbrush that was used by reach got this at the dollar store i like that it comes with like the little case thing of course, this one didn't get used that way, but these we kind of use for traveling. So if you see these, it's because we've traveled and we didn't want to take our electric toothbrush with us. So I did go through two packs of nails in the month of March. We had um, these two packs. Don't know what they had inside because obviously they're not there anymore. And this particular time, I'm not wearing any nails. I go through these moments where sometimes I have nails on, sometimes I don't. I might just put some on tonight. And then here we have a cleanser that we ended up using by, I don't know if this is KOA Life Brand or if it's called Koi, or I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But in any case, it's a vitamin C brightening cleanser that I used up. And I think this was okay. I think I've mentioned this before. I don't like foam cleansers a whole lot and it was a foam cleanser so it's not my favorite there is one more soap this one is from zest and i can't remember if i just purchased like one or a big set of these but every so often i go in through these modes where i want bar soap and we just buy that and then next up i have a ampule that was used this one is from ross rx and um, it's a brand that I had not used before. I did like this ampule a whole lot. It's kind of on the pricey side. I believe this um, bottle is like $30. I won't be bringing this back because I have a bunch of serums that I need to go through, but it wasn't a bad one. And then now we have like the mother load of masks. I always go through my mask at the end of the video and I thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going to do that straight away. These are the Be Pure Lip and Eye Mask, and I think they were good. Um, Bolero, this one, which was a sweet orange and ginger root, rose water, and retinol. I thought this was okay. Uh, sweet Chef, the ginger one. Be Pure Sprinkle, I thought this was cute. They're really, like, nasty because, like, they've dripped everywhere. This one is from Wander, and this was good. I feel for the most part, they're all thumbs up. So this one is a unicorn one by Mask Bar, and this is so pretty. From Pure in Skin, we have uh, Pink Guava. BL, this one was a charcoal activated one. I think this was so much fun. Also, if you want to see any of these masks, go on to my Instagram. Uh, Gons Girl Denny is my name everywhere, and you will see all these masks in use. This one right here is from Candy Old Lady, and it was the Milk and or honey milk this one was good <laughs> this is a brand that i've not used before supplier uh i actually like this type of mask so um intrigued by finding another brand we have from epiel the rejuvenating collagen i thought this was good the creme shop no surprise here i like stuff from creme shop a roll this one was good as well as folio green mask a green tea mask this was good Emolio, this one was good. This brand right here, Pink Viva, I thought this was just going to be like a very cheap mask. When I opened it up, it was surprisingly like hydrating and it had like um, a film on it too, which made it really, really nice to use. So this was uh, shockingly nice. And this one right here from Epiel was gloves and the gloves were awesome. Epiel Puppy Mask. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I thought this was cute. Definitely a must. I feel like most Epiel masks are just like really cute. They're some of my favorite ones Com when it comes to um, their designs. Next was this one that I got at the dollar store. I'm not really sure of this brand, but it says pick up and go. I thought it was good. The Epiel socks. These were also really good. Then I have from e.l.f. this one right here, which was the hydrating mask. I thought this was good. Alicia Koi, this one is the mushroom. I've never used the mushroom mask till I did this one, and I thought that was 
neat one from it's tony moly but they're called a bet and they're like a daily squeeze this was good from jig it this one was really good it was a pearl one it's a kazu this one's like a gold mask and anytime that they're a different color or with any type of design i think they're just great so love it this one was the sos one um from face story their um their masks are really hydrating and i definitely recommend and i also have a code so check in the description box if you want to get some money off to get some of these then from bolero this one was the cucumber and seed oil i mean these are for the most part pretty good they're just these have to just be on for five minutes. That's the only thing that's like bothersome. The other ones, you leave them on for longer periods of time. This one right here from J. June. Um, this is an essential oil one. I feel like these can be overly scented. So um, I don't always recommend it if you have sensitive skin, but I thought it was a pretty good mask. Ace Ology, we have the multivitamin brightening one. This one was good. I have several of these. Epiel, this fox one, was super cute as well. Yes. Nika K. I feel like this pops up every once in a while. Like, I find this brand. And um, they're pretty good as well. So, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. This Wet n Wild. Uh, can't remember how this one was. But I think it was good. I don't think any of the ones that I had the month of March were bad. So, this one. Playlist. This one was good as well and last but not least the Neutrogena one <sighs> Neutrogena why is this sticking out is it sticking out because it was something that I didn't like or was it just that it was a two-part mask and technically I don't like when masks are like two parts I like a full sheet mask that's just my thing it's my preference um, so I think that's the only reason why this is standing out to me so that was everything that I used in the month of March. Let's go into my totals because this is long overdue. Uh, so we have a total of $224 with 14 cents that was used in products. And when I combine it with my running total from the beginning of the year till now to date, it's a total of $717 with 49 cents yeah we're we're going you know i have two more bins to show you we'll definitely see those coming up soon i think my next video will probably be a dollar store haul or if it's not before this one either way you'll see another video and then you'll have another empties to see as well if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already become a member of my guns fam and as always from my house to yours i love you